Welcome back to our channel, The Gifts of God. Wishing you all a blessed day in Christ Jesus. The eye of the storm will pass over humanity at the peak of the impending storm, a moment of terrifying chaos and unrest. Suddenly, the sky will turn azure, profound silence will envelop, and the sun will shine down upon us. Its rays of divine mercy will illuminate our souls, so that we all may see ourselves as God sees us. It will be a wake-up call as we come face to face with the reality of our souls. It will not just be a wake-up call. The silent day thereafter has been recorded, painting a picture of that day. There will come a time on earth when goodness will be manifested at a certain point in the future. God will manifest himself at this time in a way that helps people recognize him as their creator. Everything will abruptly halt, all traffic will cease, all machinery will stop, and human interaction will cease. There will be only silence and truth. I hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, may God bless you all. Perhaps on this day, Jesus said to Saint Faustina, I come first as the King of Mercy, before I come as the Just Judge. This kind of sign will be presented to humanity before the Day of Justice. There will be complete darkness over the entire globe and the extinction of all lights in the sky. The earth will be illuminated for a short while by the great lights emanating from the wounds on the hands and feet of the Redeemer, and then the sign of the Holy Cross will appear clearly in the sky. This will occur just before the last day. This type of event is called illumination in modern mysticism, and many holy men and women have foreseen it. It is a warning to reconcile with God before the earth's purification. Saint Faustina described a mystical experience she had, I suddenly understood how God looks at my entire soul. I could see everything that offends God. I did not know that even the smallest offenses need to be explained. What a picture! Who can express it in fitting words? She foresaw a day of glory, standing before the triune God, where a fearsome judge would question the conscience of all and bring them to judgment, regardless of their religious beliefs. The momentous day has arrived, the day of transformation she predicted. For all the ungodly, it is a sad day, but it is a good day for the people. This is also something that blessed Anna Maria Taigi, famous for her extremely accurate visions, mentioned. She predicted that many would confess their sins due to this self-illuminating miracle. Because of this warning, it will eventually lead to the salvation of many souls. Mystic Maria Esperanza recently declared that these beloved ones need to shake their consciences so that they can reorganize their families. With a bright day approaching, humanity stands at a critical crossroad. When the moment of decision arrives, each person will have to choose between the self-perfecting and individualistic path of the world, which is pushing society into chaos, or accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord of all and the Redeemer of sinful humanity. There will be mercy on the stretch of road before the storm passes and the door is locked. A generous action similar to this occurred during the persecution campaign in the New Testament. The illumination, faith in Jesus Christ, the return to or rejoining of His Church, and the reception of the Holy Eucharist, the restoration of strength, are experiences that many souls can have. If love can confound the enemies of the Church, then it is truly a victory for mercy. But every soul must choose whether to enter the ark before the gate closes and the storm returns. Acts 9 verses 3 to 5 mentions that the Apostle John and the elders describe this peaceful period as the millennium, implying that they will come to drive all evil from the planet. As he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. Acts 9 verses 18 to 19 continues, immediately, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he could see again. He got up and was baptized, and after taking some food, he regained his strength. Both the Bible and tradition provide evidence that if God purifies the earth, 
such a merciful event will be appealing because it will be the final opportunity for redemption. Just as when you can see the storm clouds from afar, we may be witnessing precursors of this impending disaster, and something is brewing in their hearts, and many others have felt the need to arrange their families and simplify their lives as if they had just awakened from a deep sleep. Furthermore, it seems that the symptoms Jesus described as birth pains are becoming worse and more frequent. The changes are blowing in with stronger winds. We need to prepare. Even if this illumination has a spiritual origin, some mystics believe it may cause souls laden with sin to pass away due to shock. The worst form of shock is when someone unexpectedly encounters their Holy Creator, something that can happen to any of us at any time. Let's reconcile and trust in the Gospel throughout Holy Week. Each day presents an opportunity to start anew. The Prince of Darkness must be overthrown by the chosen souls. It's not a storm but a dreadful hurricane that will destroy everything. He even tries to undermine the credibility and confidence of the Chosen. I commit to supporting you no matter what happens. I am your mother. I can and I want to help you. You will see the light of my love radiating everywhere, illuminating heaven and earth like a flash of lightning and burning even the most disheartened and indifferent souls. But I am pained to witness so many of my children end their lives by descending into hell. Let's end this video with hands ready to act and hearts full of faith. Let us pray that we remain vigilant and aware of the signs around us, and let us trust in the assurance that God will always lead us to spiritual and material refuge during times of trial as we obey His commands. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What do you think about today's topic? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are uploaded. In conclusion, I wish you all a new day filled with positive energy. May God watch over you. Amen.